Hi, and welcome to the NPS Medicine Wise educational video. I'm Dr. Justin Coleman, a GP who works in Brisbane. Today we're discussing the concepts of overdoing it when it comes to tests and treatments. And we're going to hone in on PSA testing as a specific example. As uni students, we were taught thousands of possible tests for all the various diseases. But whose job was it to tell us when not to test? When to do nothing? Some tests miss too much. Others, like whole body CTs, can detect too much. With advancing technology, we're able to detect things virtually before they're even there. Today, we're at Bond University on Queensland's Gold Coast, home to sun, sand, surf, and some of Australia's leading academics in over-testing and over-diagnosis. So, Paul Glazier, would you have a PSA test? I will say that I haven't had one. I have thought it over very carefully. The harms for me personally out are, um, outweigh the benefits that I can see at the moment. Professor Chris Delmar, would you have a PSA test? No, I wouldn't personally. Um, I personally would avoid anything that would frighten me into thinking I've got cancer um, when I know that the chance of it um, actually helping me is in the order of one in a thousand or less and the chance of it harming me is um, three in a hundred or so. That's, those odds aren't attractive to me. Do you think we should go the whole hog and just ban the PSA test altogether? Uh, banning the PSA isn't really a viable option. So long as you feel as a doctor that your patient has been adequately informed, then I think it's reasonable to do the PSA. Mm. <clears throat> but I think the, the important thing is to make sure they're informed. There are data around to show that up to 30% of PSA tests um, were never discussed with the patient. The doctor just says, oh, by the way, your PSA was abnormal. They so what they PSA? I never, they didn't even know they had it. It's just tagged on, mm. three letters on the form. Mm. I think that's very dangerous. I actually think that's uh, dangerous medically legally. The PSA has got value in following people who've got prostate cancer. If a man has established uh, advancing prostate cancer, then using PSA as a marker to see how it's going, to give us some idea when uh, he may develop bony metastases or should have a bone scan is critically important. And, and that's a totally different story from using it as a screening tool.